We are here with the amazing Fifi O'Hara. <laughs> oh my God, Fifi. What a journey this has been for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Like, I'm like genuinely happy with everything I did. You 100% ought to be. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, <laughs> it's a big difference from season four. And like, um, I, I think people thought maybe I would be upset by leaving and I'm not. Like. I think everybody handles it. Like, I felt the same way when I just did that little reality show, uh -huh. and I came in fifth, Yeah. and I wasn't upset. I came in fifth, too. Yeah! My sisters! <laughs> yeah. I think that you can leave with your head held high. No, really, yeah. And, you know, that last challenge, I thought we were hysterical. I had a blast. Listen, <laughs> if you heard the critiques, no, I did, yeah. it wasn't that you weren't funny. Yeah. At all. You guys came out with fully realized characters. I enjoyed it. Yeah. It just didn't feel like stand up per se. No, I get it. I totally get it. it I was proud of that. And, like what we did. And what I thought was cool is like, you know, I don't like to play inside the box. Great. And, and I thought it was really cool that all these risks were paying off. And I'm happy I took a risk and did something. I agree with you. Yeah. So I'm, I'm glad that if I went out, I went out on like a bank. Yeah. And Nobody can fault you for what you did. I can say that with every challenge, um, you pushed it, you kept pushing it. You showed the world what they don't know about yeah. Fifi from season four. And you took risks as far as like when we saw you in season four, you couldn't put you in a box, but you also saw that you struggled with well, I that. I, I, that was the only scene that I grew up in, so that's all I knew. So when I saw Sharon for the first time, I was like, what the f is this? <laughs> <laughs> I think we all were like that. <laughs> but you know what, I, like, I, I thank Sharon all the time in, in you know season four because if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have opened my eyes and seen like, all the forms of art that there is out there. And yeah. like, now I'm this, and I'm just so happy that I finally found my own voice in this community. To me, being a cosplay mom, uh, and I go to all of these um, cons with my child, who's a huge cosplayer, um, it's all drag, so. Uh, drag is cosplay. Yeah, I mean, it's the same thing. Women. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, I just think it's cool. You know, I, I, it's funny, I've always done cosplay and stuff and, and bring these characters to life. And I used to use these characters as a way to escape from like my childhood. And they had these superhero powers and I just wish I had a superhero power to like, you know, leave this, you know, bad environment to this happy environment. And so seeing all these kids that, you know, look up to these heroes and stuff and, you know, just want to have fun and, and yet get picked on for it. You know, it's cool just being that nerd and showing them it's cool to be a nerd. Yeah, cosplay is a really big deal to the kids who have that that point of view like they that's their only escape and their only solace yeah. is knowing that when they go to these cons there's going to be hundreds of thousands of people just like them yeah i just did a few cons um right before this and it was funny like i would do all my meet and greets and everything and people were like genuinely crying it's weird because you know you have the drag race fans have, that have that feeling but now i have these cosplay fans that are doing it and it's it's so funny, like out of all the different, you know, communities in the world, we all have the same problems and insecurity. Yeah, of course. And it's, but it's really cool that they can look up to me and I could be that voice. Cause that's really why I wanted to do the show to begin with. Right. I wanted to be that voice and show people that there's ups and downs in life, but you know what? Be who you want to be and you know, screw what everybody else thinks. Life's supposed to be fun. These kids have to know that you can be who you want to be yeah. and still achieve in life. And you know, it, it takes time to realize that I'm, I'm going to be 30 soon and it took me that long to realize like, <laughs> you know, to figure that out in life. Yep. And, but I think it's cool that like, they can look at me and kind of figure this out a little bit quicker. Yeah. And I mean, what a great feeling. It is a great feeling. Super proud of you. Thank you. Continued success. Thank you. And uh, uh, not. Did you like the new teeth? By the way? I loved your new teeth, <laughs> but I, you know, I'm not happy. I, I know. There's just a little part of me that misses that little tooth. I'll mail you the teeth. Thank you. <laughs> me for your hair. I love you to bits. Love you Thank you. Hey, squirrel friend. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead, I support you.